I want to go back into the discussion about what exactly it is that makes Simple Friday LLC, specifically the awesome hot sauce that I make, different than mainstream national brand mass-produced hot sauces. I did show that a little when I was going over the peppers and showing that I cut all the stems off. That's one big thing that not all pepper companies do. Not all hot sauce companies will cut off the stems. They will put that all the leaf stems will all go into the sauce, into the pot together, and then they just heat the heck out of it, add chemicals, add sugar to get rid of the bitterness of the, of the stems themselves because the process of taking all those stems off would halt their production because they're doing so much of it, okay? I'm not doing nearly as much as a company that needs to fill every grocery store in every town across the country. So I have the advantage of being able to hand select each one of my peppers and make, and, and make it past my specs before I put it in my sauce. So that's one thing. I cut it the stems off, and then I cut the pepper down the center because sometimes there's something going on on the inside of the pepper that you can't see from the outside. So it's a much slower process, but I don't have to make as much either. Now the other thing people have asked, well, when you say micro batch or, ma or, or small batch, what exactly do you mean? I think that's a great question. 72 ounces, nine cups, a little bit above that line, will make 12 bottles of hot sauce. Now, 12 bottles of the old style, which is the six ounce bottle, great bottles, I love them. They, are, they have always been one ounce larger than every other hot sauce, mostly every other hot sauce, because they use the five ounce woozy bottles with the skinnier necks. We've always used these ones. They're bigger, they're filled more. So we went from these over to these now. These are the eight ounce jars. They don't make a jar in a six ounce size. So to be comparable, what I did when I had the very last one of these in stock, I filled this with water to about, I don't know if you see my finger, to about right here. It's called a six ounce ring neck. That's how much I've been filling every bottle of Awesome Hot Sauce. So what I did was I filled the water up to that mark poured it into one of these things, and then I, very scientifically, drew a sharpie straight line across it on four ends, so if one faded, I'd still have a nice good straight line. And now I use this, and I take one of these empties with that, with that sharpie mark on it, and I measure it up side by side with the, with the 12 bottles I'm about to fill, so, and I try to eyeball it, and I try to fill each one, and then I'll correct them uh, plus or minus to get it to at least that line on each bottle after I'm done pouring from said picture. So this still fills 12 bottles. If I did this and I filled these jars to the very top, then I'd only get about 10 of these per pitcher. So that's how small micro batch is for us. Yes, we do for the original sauces, like our original, um, the Whippersnapper, some of the ones that have a common base for, we'll start off using one of these. Now this one's already been used, so discoloration happens like the very first time you put hot sauce into a plastic. This is a BPA free and all that good stuff. Why did I fill an empty one of these with water and then make the mark on the new bottle in the new jar? Well because there's a two ounce difference, I didn't want to have to raise the prices based product size. The six ounce is pretty much our standard issue size and then there's a 12 ounce which is double the size. This jar is going to have just as much as this one had, if not more. But there's going to be a little bit more space on the top because this is actually an eight ounce jar. These are six ounce bottles. What is the difference between a micro batch? What is the difference between an awesome hot sauce and a Tabasco sauce? Well, besides the fact that they are more commonly known, everybody has heard of it. They also have a, a, a whole farming community that only makes their peppers and, and big, huge trucks of it go there. And if you think that there's going to be enough manpower to look at every single pepper that goes into your sauce and make sure there's not like a little problem with it. There's not. There's there, there, there's no way they could ever perform their their task. So things do make it into the pot that aren't going to be very fresh. I'm not putting junk in in the first place. You're going to get awesome in, awesome out. So there you have it. So you can understand how this might be a very time-consuming process for awesome hot sauce to make their sauce because it's me. One guy. So where other companies make hundreds of thousands of bottles of the same sauce at a time, I make 12. And then I make 12 more. And then I make 12 more. 
and then I make 12 more. Someday, someday maybe we will get to the point where we're so big that I can make a few more than that at a time. But with just one person making all the sauce, I can only get so big before that becomes impossible. But always know that if it's an awesome hot sauce, somebody has looked at every single pepper that went into that sauce, looked it in the eye, and made sure that it passed his scrutiny before it went in their sauce. Every ingredient is hand selected. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be doing a tutorial for each sauce coming up soon. Thank you.